Well, you, um, you said somewhere that um, you wanted this album really to stand out. Oh. And you, um, well, you, you were saying for yourselves what Pantera's Furger display. Mm. What makes that album so special for you? It stands out over time. So you have to make something that stands out over time. We knew that we had to do something that defined ourselves, stood out over time. There was a difference between anything going on within two or three years before, two or three years after. Something that was defining in a moment. And we did that. It was purely Devil Driver. It's you can't compare it to anything. There's no genre. There's nowhere you can put it. This is the uh, exact thing that art should be. How do, you, how do you start? I mean, how do you start with such a process to... You make yourself free and void uh, of, of any influence that would put upon your integrity delusion. But was it and, hard? and you make sure that the integrity of every player is upon himself, not upon his influences, but upon his many influences, and you bring it to the whole, and this is the only way. But yeah. it's really hard to do, I think, it because is pe very people hard to are do. constantly on the influence of anything. I mean, True. Walking, uh, walking on the street, I mean. True. I mean, I've got favorite bands and favorite yeah. things I listen to, but, but it, it will never be a, a solid influence of what Devil Driver is. You know, we, we convolute the influence of, of, of all music and all things that we do to, to define ourselves as something empty, but yet full and different. That's the only way you can do it. Otherwise, art is dead completely. And in the States, there's a lot of bands that sound the same, and I think that's what's happening. It's just, it'll die on the vine like a bad grape. It will. It's for you, um, well, this new album, but first, the previous one, how do you look back on the fury of our maker's hand? How do you look back on it? Is it, sta uh, stand, does it, does it stand out for you? It does, but I look back on the first record as being a, a, a kind of linear verse chorus, just our way in, this is what drive, we are. Yeah, yeah. But it has so many gems that I love. From Meet the Wretched to I Could Care Less, Cry For Me Sky, Mountain, I mean, great tunes. And, and the second record is very experimental. It was, I was fond of this record, but not a massive fan of this record for, for myself. I was not, our second record. Uh, but I think we needed to go and do what we needed to do. And by letting, uh, in a democracy you do this, by letting every band member do what he did, I think we went to another place thus winning the hearts of people saying, oh, you really, you took the time to venture outside of yourself, which was completely the goal of, of anything artistic. And when, and when did the focus then was, well, when did you focus for this new album? Playing live. That was it. We realized that over live, we needed to capture our live sound and our live feel. There's no way to do it other than to, to capture this on the record would be impossible. Even the, the, the uh, producer, he caught a lot of first takes with myself vocally, which instead of six and a half, seven hours on a song for, with Colin Richardson, say, 25, 30 minutes. And, and just, oh, this is it. You live. First tracks, first takes, first emotions, you know. And it was that way with a lot of the band. I think it's uh, essential to a project that we, we, we captured that, you know. And in our third record, we knew we wanted to capture ourselves live, but not to a live record.